if you were to choose to build this type muffler, this is what it would look like on a international. That's a Type M right there, three horsepower. You can see that I changed the exhaust port outlet from a single round outlet to a screened look. Now we'll get her started up there in a couple of days. I see what it sounds like. You never know. I'm expecting it to be a quite mellow sound. Now y'all leave a comment. Yeah, subscribe if you want to. We'll build something else. From here in Middle Tennessee, Geographical Center of something. Shop Dog Center. To answer the question, when, when you put this head, when you install this head onto this engine, LB or LA, one and a half, two and a half, three to five, all the same. The governor rod from the governor <clears throat> fly out weights comes around, comes that way, comes that way, and comes that way, and pulls that lever back there, and when it does, this connector In, in the block will turn only it'll turn only that way if you're looking at it what would it be counterclockwise and the head if you look at it onto the engine it's pretty much self-explanatory that this will be open okay it's open i put my i put my bank well i'll just hold it like that for a bit and if you observe back here that's the position straight across and up and down like that of that connector this part throttle plate uh I don't want to call that. I'll have to look that up. <clears throat> Connects into that. So that when that turns over that way, it'll in turn turn this part over that way and close that up. It's open and eep, close. So that's enough of that. You know, it's in the book. If you have an engine, if you get any any good, if it was worth your time to click on to this video, if you get anything out of it is the suggestion, the remark that I would make is if you have an engine, don't turn the flywheel until you order the instruction manual, the operator's manual, related related sizes order all of the literature available and when you do that you will know as much about this engine as the guy that made it in 1946 this being a 1946 year model and it would only be in production for another couple of years but there was a couple of things on this engine that was it was the, the dividing line like two overhead valves, you would say, is that it had a controlled intake valve duration onto the cam. Uh, before that, it was atmospheric or some similar type intake mechanism. This one being controlled, uh, might get more efficient, constant, and also. If I take a minute too much, so be it. 
governor on these engines right here. In all seriousness, governors on this engine right here, or let's just say governors in general. But when you, that's the impulse of the magneta that you hear snapping. Um, but you can see the piston and you can see the engine going around. The centrifugal force makes this flywheel aids in its revolution. It, centrifugal force drives it. In order for this governor to work, and, and like I say, governors in general, the, for the governor to be have a safety factor in it, it has have the capability to shut the engine down. And that's what it does for, for just a, a couple of turns of the flywheel, and then the flyweights will close back up, relax back down from being flung out, and when they go back down like that, then it closes, it opens that throttle valve. Okay. If you adjust, and that adjustment is this lever up here, this lever, it just goes down through there, and it's just on a pivot. And all it does is gives you the opportunity to move the adjustment at will. Even that is done incorrectly in 99% of the cases. If you change this lever from forward to back to change the RPM in, in, in cohundreds with that, you have to change the needle valve setting on your carburetor, on your mixer. If you if you run it at a slower RPM, then you would have too much fuel. If you run it at a high RPM, you would have enough. So vice versa. One of them start with leaner or whatever. <clears throat> but these engines, if you have one of these, and I have read on and I will refer to and suggest that you also check the website out, Harry's old engine wealth of information, but, you know, some of it, you wonder, most people won't own up to having one of these engines. They say, oh, I don't, I, I, you know, I don't care for no LB, they're low price, you know, I'm, I'm not going to work on no LB or LA. That's most people's attitude about them, not realizing some of the different parts on this engine the upgrade from the lower model, as I referred to, it's quite different. Self-contained crankcase is another one. Probably for a metal, the prior model being a total loss oil system, and this when you change the oil, use it over and over, periodically. But the governor on this engine and in, in the book's opinion, not in my opinion, this is not my opinion, this is in the book, if you read the book, the instruction manual, um, read the book, How Governors Work, uh, what's the purpose of these governors, um, give a broader view of the subject of these governors, because they're quite important. And fuel efficiency and use of the engine. If this engine is sitting here at, at an engine show, it's on a it's on a car, it's the engine show, it's roped off over, it's got a spotlight on it like this, and the poor little engine is sitting over there running all by itself. It's the only engine in that whole row that'll start and run with a low L or LB. And it's sitting over there just chugging away, been running all day. The engine should be, the governor should be adjusted according to the book that it will, a phrase that I have read on Harry's old engine website in regard to these governors, the complaint, 
the complaint is their engine hunts and pecks. That's that's the way they describe it. It's like you know it's running and all it wants it ain't running, and then it'll it'll try to go again. You know, hunting and a pecking. You know, trying to find the, the, the whatever it takes to make it run. If your engine's doing that, it's running correctly. If your engine is sitting there running at full speed, the rated RPM on this is 1,000 RPM, which is, man, that's a lot of RPMs for an engine. But anyway, short stroke and bore size and everything dictated all of that to get the horsepower. So, the governor is quite important. And if the engine's sitting there just just at an engine show with just nothing but a pulley on it, you know, it's just the engine only. Uh, the the, the flyweights, the throttle is completely open straight across. The engine starts up and the flyweights goes as far out as they can go. That's the adjustment on them, either with this or the screw adjustment. The adjustment, in, in according to the book, is should be at that at that RPM, so that when the, when the engine is idling, the flyweights will relax, okay? When they relax, that throttle plate opens. The engine will speed up, okay? When the engine speeds up, when it reaches whatever RPM you have the engine set to run at by this adjustment, when it gets to that speed, It has closed that valve enough to where it cuts the fuel off. That's what it does. It's cutting the fuel off. Okay. As the fuel's cut off, the engine, as to how sensitive your governor springs are, as to how quick that governor weights goes in and out. That happy medium is to where it will run right up to the speed and cut off, cut down. And then it's slow down, fling out again, expand, contract. Yeah, okay. By now, have you left a comment about these governors? So you can't see it in here. It's all self-contained in there was one of the better ideas. But on a the year model before this, the same governor system, just the levers are shaped different. I'll show you. As with this this uh, McCormick Deere M, you can actually see the governor. And the rod that goes up makes the turn that way and then makes the pull that way. Okay? One that you can actually look at, for an example, this is that throttle valve in that head. Here you can see the whole mechanism. This is inside the engine right there. That's the linkage. And when that when that weight back there flings out, it makes this go up like that right there. Okay? You want this, them weights adjusted to where that this will actually flutter. There's no, there's no governing at all when you set your weights to run at a single speed. That three to five LB right there is that example. It should fluctuate. Just say it. Leave a comment. Yes, this being the same principle when them
Okay. This being the same mechanism, looking at it straight from, from the front. That's there, this is what is happening inside that LB crankcase. I'm just saying, leave a comment, subscribe, and we're going to make some gaskets now.